Okay, um, we're going to talk to you about uh, ticks on goats today. Ticks on goats are actually a common problem in here in Oklahoma. Uh, you don't see a lot of research done on this, but uh, we, we see ticks infesting goats quite a bit, especially meat goats that are out in pastures. Um, anytime you see a goat that's going to be in a pasture, they're going to increase their likelihood of, be, of being infested with ticks. So, when you check a goat for ticks, there's... Uh, three main areas that we're always going to check. The first area is always going to be the, the ears. But when you check a goat's ears, it's not just looking on the outside of that ear and seeing. You're going to feel for the margins of the ear. In fact, right in through here, we'll see a lot of ticks a lot of times. And so you feel these margins. And then you always want to look under any kind of tag. If it's a identification tag or any kind of tag, ticks love to get under those tags. And then if you don't see anything there, the next likely spot, which is kind of challenging sometimes, especially for a goat that has horns, is right at the base of these horns. You just got to spread this hair out and look and actually feel for ticks. And you can feel for ticks through there. And a lot of times you'll, you'll, you'll see some ticks feeding in there. The next area is what we call the axillary regions. And this is actually pretty easy if you can restrain a goat. Uh, again, this is a much easier if you have two people, or if, you, if you, it's a lot easier if you um, want to do this in a chute as well. So axillary regions in between the two front legs, you're going to feel a tick before you see a tick. So you feel through there, and just kind of inside on both legs, and then you're gonna go back to the back and just spread those legs out. You're gonna feel a tick before you see a tick. And then the last area that we've seen ticks on goats is along the, the neck region underneath the jawline. Sometimes you can have ticks feeding under here and through here. So most important thing, a lot of times, Think, people think their coats don't have any ticks, but you really have to look for the ticks to find them. So just starting now uh, in April and going pretty much through October, any goat that's in a pasture situation, they have the likelihood of getting ticks in them. Um, some treatment options, most of the treatment options that are out there are all just uh, what we call synthetic pyrethroids. That's the, really the only type of product that's labeled for goats, other than uh, some dewormer products that will have some activities against ticks. So just uh, be aware that ticks are becoming active and know where to look. And always make sure you look at the base of the horns and the ears, most importantly right now.